crap, 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 crap. Well, that was retarded. Well, that was unfortunate. Did you spawn at the beacon? <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> well, I saved your battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. That didn't take long. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably make you know what I'm gonna just make that safe I've been meaning to do that for a long long time <laughs> all right wait. I'm glad I could assist on my first day on the server well That's, just it's... fortunately for you there is a way we can actually find you soul sand exactly and we have that in uh, extreme quantities now so also try and get up somewhere high and see if you can see torches and roads. Just well, I am in a snow biome with a howling wolf somewhat nearby, Ooh. and mobs. Uh, well, this one, this skeleton's trying to tickle me with his arrows. Okay. Well, there's two possible places you could be right now. Don't touch me there, Mister Boney. Um, <laughs> there's the the one that'll be easy to find, and then there's the southern continent. Just be glad it's not a new moon. I need an adult. <laughs> oh man we are uh going to uh get some soul forge some soul sand here and we'll, we'll we'll track you down might as well let me respawn because i'm i'm on my way out well it's, the it's... the um the one catch there is that it's a uh 10 minute um cycle on uh well this is fine because i just respawned into like the mid level strata of a tree well, that's good. Good. You should be safe up there. From wolves, anyway. Okay, and the soul sand should direct us to the approximate direction you're in. And there's two... To the best of my knowledge, there's two different um, snow, for, snow biomes you can spawn into. Okay. So, and you I are... I shall consult the map Oh, quickly. maybe it's three. It says yeah, that, I've got three on my map. Yeah, it says that he's in the north... Um, Northwest, the northwest one. Okay, so. Oh, so he's at, so he's he's right around the corner from the snow fa the snow farm. Yeah. Snow farm. Yeah. Snow farm. There should be roads through there. Um, we can head north. And... We it's not complete though. That that one's I not not a complete road network. No. So we'll, if we'll... you hit a desert, you're going the wrong way. Yeah. Well, I've I've determined what I can do to contribute and pull my weight. I'll help you complete the road network. <laughs> Sounds good. And we got lots of dirt to do that with. These the roads are all made out of that of what's called packed earth. It's two blocks of dirt dirt squished together. Right. And it creates a solid surface that lets you run really quickly. Where are you going, Gord? Well, I just fell out of the to the uh, to the road to the uh, to to the road that goes up to the snow biome. What direction should I be headed? Um, south. Uh, keep, so keep, keep the, the moon uh, on your right. Moon on your right, sun on your left. Okay. And we will uh, head in your direction. Dodge the zombies. Take and the spiders. Yeah. You are not wearing armor. No, I'm not. It's probably foolish, but. That's okay. The sun's coming up. They'll all fry in a minute. Yeah, there's not that much out here right now, anyways. Oh, you'll still be in the same approximate location. Yeah, I've got a. I'm 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 going to buy a new copy of the game and change my name. <laughs> Fair enough. This 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 was ill advised. Oh well, it's a fine. I, I don't mind. Uh, we'll, we'll just we'll, it'll be blocked out. Don't you worry. I've, I've I've introduced and injected my off-color sense of humor. <laughs> into you all have to add something. My online persona. It's all good. I mean, you're you're playing in a mod that involves sticking wolves in tiny little boxes, in Why? pitch, so that they poop more. That's the thing. Uh, for <laughs> It, it is quite obvious that he's a cat person who simultaneously hates dogs. Yeah, pretty much. 
<laughs> Not just a preference thing. Right. Oh yeah, you should have seen the uh, screenshots of the testing work he was doing when he was convert when he uh, on one of his builds. And it's a shot of a castle with these lovely red cushions with cats sitting on them out, out in front of his base. Whoa, this is a fancy thing I've never seen before. Yeah, I know. It's This is where you get snow and ice. Ah. There's a, an auto snow producer and an auto uh, ice farm. Cool. You know, I once had a teacher who hated cats so much, he took like glee in telling us the story about the time that cat crawled into his car um, engine. Yeah. So what you want to watch oh, out okay. for as you're trying to find your way... Uh, home is any is beacons with torches on top of them okay so there'll be pillars with <clears throat> pillars with especially on mountaintops kate's put a lot of them up on mountaintops how that can get yeah usually made out of uh cobblestone Cobble. right well i'm just headed due south right now and it's getting snowier yeah you should it's quite a significant snow biome that this this northeast one all right, I see a desert. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we're we're right by the desert too. Um, so we should be pretty close to where you're located now. Head into okay. the desert. Um, or what? follow the uh, boundary between the desert and the snow biome. Yeah, East stay right in the middle. Um, hang a if you're traveling south, hang a left. All right, so I'm headed. Uh, looks like east by southeast here. Yeah, east by southeast, and we should be coming into sight of you pretty quick here. Actually, what are these uh, across red the frozen lake? Red look like XP balls on the ground. Ah, uh, those are called dragon orbs. Um, dragon orbs. Yeah, they're they... what happens when mobs die without uh, player intervention. Okay. Yeah, so it's basically it's XP, but it's XP in a form that we can't use. Um, in the uh, mob system, the XP is then filtered. Hmm. I wonder if there's a second snow biome. The biome boundary next to it, has it? the biome boundary has started to curve southward. Okay. I'm keeping it on my left. Okay, cool. And I see a little bit of a. It's not even a sand dune. It's a sand mountain. Okay. And oh, I see it. Do you see an ugly brown swamp? Do you see anything that looks like a swamp, or are you uh, still in desert? I'm, I'm still in desert, and it looks like a cave inside the sand mountain. Oh, interesting. I wonder if there's another snow biome on the other side of this. Could be a bit of a challenge. Well, there, there's a, the, a, mountain, a sand mountain thing just over there. Well, there's really yeah. tall. Should I be walking towards you, or should I be using this daylight to dig a hidey hole? You might want to start uh, getting some food and digging a hidey hole. Oh, there's there's a real sand mountain. I, I... see a swamp. There, there we, we go. go. All, All right. right, we are almost at your location, then. Just keep traveling along towards the swamp. We are coming up towards the boundary between a big sand mountain and the swamp. Hey, a witch's hut. Witch's hut. A witch's hut. It's yeah. probably some, empty. I see some sheepers. Yep, yeah. and we should just be popping up over the dune, almost right in front of you here. Oh, hello. Witches. Crap. Whoa, lots of witches. Run away. Baba Black Sheep. He has any wool. Oh, crap. I'm poisoned now. Don't do that. Me too. All right, let's just run. Okay. Running away. Because otherwise we're both going to die and that'll be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> we're okay. Yeah, or something like that. Alright, so you're following the uh, boundary between the um, the snow yes. biome and the um, swamp now? No, or uh, sorry, the, uh, the desert. Swamp, the swamp and the desert. Yeah. And it's circled me around so many times with the sun directly overhead. I have no idea exactly what direction I'm facing. <laughs> okay. Uh, we should be getting close to your location now. Although this bound, I've not actually been up in this area. We really need to. Oh, no, me neither. Yeah, I can't remember exactly where. This is actually a section we haven't spent much time building towards, isn't it? 
Yeah. I got myself tangled up in some weeds there. This is quite the desert. I didn't actually know we had a desert that was this cool in this area. I see another mountain in front of me. Cool. With uh, looks to be several hollow entrance points. And... Alright, I'm in some kind of... Looks like a bay. A bay? Where there's a swamp in the middle of the bay, and it's surrounded on effectively three sides by sand mountain. Cool. Um, I see ya. Oh, you, s you see him? I got him. Hi. Cool. Hello. Hey, it worked. Soul Sand worked for once. Look at that. Yay. <laughs> I lost both of you, though. Did, so oh, Soul Sand never mind. worked. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, well, Soul Sand directs us towards where you spawned. It's pretty right. specific. It doesn't direct us towards you. Right. It directs us to the spawn point of the last person who died. So if two people die at the same time... We're in tell you one pretty them. bad shape, yeah. yeah. But that's, yeah. that's and just it, like... And if you move too much, it doesn't help. And yeah. How's... Right. I think there's a time yeah. limit on it. How's your hunger level? Yeah, do you need food? I've got food. Uh, sure. I've got some yeah. raw pork chops here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's the sandwich. Har hardly worth the trouble. Thank you. Yeah. Um, no problem. When you eat, um, you might notice that your hunger hunger bars will, will eventually start getting little white circles around them. Okay. Uh, that represents fat. It's basically a insulative layer against uh, dying. Oh, yeah, if you want to know what a witch looks like, just look over to your our right there. Um, stay away. <laughs> they throw things? It's mean. They throw potions. Uh, poison potions. I'm going this way. They'll also heal themselves. And unfortunately, they are, indigen they are indigenous to swamps. And they, it used to be they'd only spawn in these huts over here. Right. Um, but of course, Flower Child was not content with that, and so made it so that they will spawn anywhere in a swamp. Even if you're digging around under a swamp. That usually just means they've fallen into a cave, just FYI. I don't know. Usually. I don't think they... Although, you know, I've not actually checked to see if they would spawn in caves underground. We don't have that much... Ca haven't done that much caving under swamps, have we? No. Oh, I should have put a beacon up on that mountain. Oh, well. Oh, we Here's a beacon. They yeah. look like this. Only yeah. sometimes cobble. Yeah. So logs or cobblestone, whatever happened to be available at the time. Right. Usually means or that one top. That one was probably built with, by somebody who was trying to find their way home from a death. Right. Yeah, probably. So... So that was based on a soul sand reading, then? Yeah. 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 And it's roughly accurate. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Can can these ice blocks be harvested? Or used um, for anything? Not... Soul touch? Silk touch, yes. Silk um, touch. Otherwise, what happens? They just shatter? Yeah, they'll... Yeah, they just turn into water. They produce a... Yeah, they produce a source block. <laughs> um, they can't be used for as much as they used to be able to, because they'll just melt outside of a swamp biome. Or outside of a snowy biome. But they're a pretty neat looking building material. <clears throat> um, and I actually have a farm that's manufacturing them. Over this way, Kate. Yeah. That's manufacturing ice? Yeah, yeah. we're gonna actually be, we're actually walking to it right now. <clears throat> just just so happens you spawned in yeah, near my snow and ice farm. Yeah, what is ice used for? Um snow. Ice is pretty much just used because it looks pretty. Uh, and okay. it's only useful in snow biomes. So you could build you could build cool stuff in snow biomes. Such so as bridges across my, bodies of my, water. My yeah. Snow is again it's it's a easy oh, okay. to so this is what roads look like, yeah. This is just where we ran out of materials one time. And unfortunately snow collects on them in the snow biomes, so less helpful. Yeah, tor torches will help melt that in snow biomes. Um, yeah, the snow is nice because it's a cheap building material that Enderman can't pick up. Nice. Which is why I used it to build the uh, en Enderman farm in the... Uh, it's part of what I used to build the Enderman farm. And it's nice. white. It so, cool. yeah, so this is the snow... This is the ice building. What so, a coincidence. I'm white, too. Yeah. So this this uses a very similar principle to the... Uh, um, I'm sliding. Yeah, it's because there's ice underneath these blocks. 
it uses a similar principle to the uh, mycelium farm, where when something freezes into ice, it gets picked up by these block dispensers. And you just heard it go. You just heard that. Yeah. That was uh, an ice block being formed. Nice. And then the source blocks of water that are under here will reform the ice into uh, will reform a uh, source block of water, which will then freeze into another block of ice. The sun she is setting. Yeah, this is actually this is also a safe harbor. Okay. For uh, night rest, this other building is the snow farm. It uses snowmen and a packing system, which we'll have to very quickly look at. Um, the snowballs fall down in this box here. And I'll just, let me just crack it open. Here, if you come have a look over here, the yeah. snowballs fall down and get packed by this piston into a block. And the snow. Yeah. And then the block is picked up by the uh, block dispensers. And, oops, that's the wrong place for that. And then they wind up in these, in these green blocks over here. If you look, the one over here on the left is where they're going right now. So it's a very efficient material to produce. And of course Put snow it melts if you carry it out of here. Nope, snow is okay. Okay. It's only only ice that melts. Uh, snow does not. But s the reason why ice melts um, here come on in, let's get ourselves safe um, so that we don't wind up with a creeper or something killing us in the middle of the night. The reason why ice melts is because ice has a neat property where things will slide on it, which I'll show you. Let me just throw it up. If you watch out the uh, corner here, yeah. I'll just uh, cut a hole here, and you watch this uh, block here. You see it? It got an extra momentum imparted on it. There it goes. So nice. It, it, but it, so that allows... If you were to build a mob system in an icy place, um, it would allow for infinite horizontal transport of items because you would just use uh, water streams and then the items will actually slide from water one water stream into the next across a gap. Nice. But that violated um, some of the uh, design goals that Flower Child had. He felt it was a little too gamey. So, that, so we, we could do it still, but it would only work in a snow biome. Okay. Which, no big deal. <coughs> um, the uh, mob system that I showed in my old world tour uses that principle. Well, I suppose you could then send it long distances with, uh, with like a minecart rail system automated. Exactly, and that's actually one of those prototypes back at the base is a mine, an automated loader and unloader uh, for minecarts that's going to be used in the uh, new mob system eventually when I get tower 2 finished I only want to have one one sorting system so that will be fun is there anything to allow underwater explanation uh, such mm -hmm. as like um, like a scuba system in fact there is um, it's not something that's come up a great deal but yes there is um, soulforged, soulforged steel armor enchanted with respiration and um, I think aqua affinity helps too will greatly, greatly enhance your underwater breathing. Um, I've never actually tested it, but that is supposedly... But it won't allow for it to be mechanically extended, theoretically, oh. as long as you bring enough supply of air. Well, I, th I think that was the purpose of it, is uh, the Aqua Affinity on Soulforged Steel will give you a significant bonus boost to your ability to survive underwater. I actually have to test that. I haven't actually tested that. Okay. Now that you mentioned, and the other question is because I've seen you running around in boats. Is there like airplanes or no? No, 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 no flight in this. Okay. No flying. Too bad, but uh, the uh, and boats have their own hazards. You don't want to be caught out on the water during the night. No. Oh, it's bad thing. Yeah, the squid will eat you right out <laughs> of your boat. Which reminds me of the death trap fishing hole. Oh gods, yeah. <laughs> Well, before we do what's the that was like it. That was in the. I think that was that was Steve and uh, Lars in the like the fifth or sixth, the sixth or seventh yeah, episode. Early. Yep. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Not for them. Well, no, <laughs> but it was it was good for a laugh. There's actually a fishing hut out there now that actually works. So. Yeah. So. 
And, so you... and, the, and the ruins of the old one are still there. You walk around the coast there, you come across this. To it's been creepered, and oh my goodness. Yeah, it is seeing better days. Hey, did you want to see the wiring for this thing? The uh, uh, ice farm? Sure. There's a block that Flower Child created called the Buddy Block. The Buddy Block. Yeah, um, in vanilla Minecraft, there's these redstone circuits called um, they're called they're called Bud Switches, or they basically stands for Block Update Detector. So, but it uses a very gamey system that's uh, based off of a bug in the game using pistons. But it's an extremely useful tool. So he's normalized it. So this block here that you see. This this blue red block with the the blue with the red smiley face. Yeah. What it does is it detects any block updates near it. And in this case, it's triggering a redstone signal that goes into this block dispenser down here. And that sends a signal up to the block that is supposed to pick up the um. Uh, the ice. Now the interesting design thing with buddy bud switches is that there's actually if you look at the thing there's actually three conditional events that was stupid yeah that occur when an ice block forms so three yeah. uh, three updates there's one update that's triggered when the ice block forms okay. there's one update that triggers when the ice block is picked up right and then there's one update that triggers when the water flows in to create a new source block Okay. So we only want the system to do something when the uh, ice forms. So you had to install intermediary steps. Yeah, these block dispensers act as uh, counselors, basically as uh, finite memory circuits. So Yeah, I, I, I watched uh, a lot of videos on like automation design with the redstone wiring, and I realized that in order to really understand, I mean, it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. but I've got to learn like basic circuit design. Yeah, it definitely helps. I took that in university, so some of this is pretty familiar. Uh, Better Than Wolves gives us some tools that allows us to make some of this much, much more compact. Okay. Like these block dispensers are a very compact counter because they're right. counting three events within the space of one block right. when the uh, ice forms. Um. If you want to get some more information on that, there's a few Better Than Wolves players who have played around with uh, design um, in the past with using the uh, using the redstone components of Better Than Wolves. Oh, I, I have no worry about that because yeah. uh, I am a brown belt Google Foo master. Indeed. You'll, I'm sure you can track somebody Very down. Yes. Yeah. Not a but, black actually paid see? me to do that crap. And see, see, you saw the three events trigger there? In quick, you were in yeah, me, but... it was yeah. They trigger really quick because the three events happen very fast. And but it doesn't matter because it's the the buddy block produces three distinct pulses, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. Sweetness. Yeah. The sun is coming up. Beginning to rise. Excellent. And there are hoppy things in the trees. Excellent. Excellent. So. Yeah, I've got a few slimes from the sw from the swamp nearby, and let's see what we got here. The one nice thing about this location is it's by the ice lake, so we don't actually wind up with a lot of mobs here. Except for that guy. Yeah, well, he's a skeleton. We can handle skeletons. There we go. Yeah, so this this is a bit more of a gamey system because it, actually, if you look up top top, there's four snow snow golems up there, uh. and they snow golems fart out snowballs. So they they lay down this uh, single layer thick uh, snow block that you see on the road surface, right? And that um, they basically they're manufact they're creating that, and the pistons are popping them and dropping them down the hole. So, and if you right click, you can throw snowballs. With no impact. Yeah. That's no fun. They used to push people off just a little bit. They don't. Yeah, I don't know if that's just a, a glitch or what's going on there, but that's okay. That's too bad, but such is life. 